When it comes to me personally succeeding as a student, um, one of the things I had to learn is that you shouldn't be too focused on the outcomes of your work. To be more specific, I don't really focus on my goals as a student, but I'm more so focused on my progression. So I don't really worry about the final grade, I just worry about my grade improving. So I don't get too wrapped up in the uh, accomplishments, more so the processes and the systems that I put in place to get better. I'm Joshua Hildebrand, senior at Walkersville High School. I play for our school's varsity tennis team, uh, vice president of the National Math Honor Society and the debate club, and then I'm also the editor for our key club. This year, it's the fact that I've spread myself pretty thin between clubs, sports, friends, my job, and school. Time is a scarce resource. So I've learned how to balance uh, work and life. Sometimes you run into a brick wall. That's a good way to balance. Sometimes you just notice your grades slip and you're like, uh-oh. It's really just been more so about communicating. That's really been the one thing, communicating with my boss, communicating with my friends, communicating with my teachers, really uh, expressing things that I'm struggling with. And I've learned that they are always there to help you. They are always there to flex the schedule a little bit, make it so that you can be the best you can and so that you can succeed. To me, a successful student is anyone that's growing as a student. I've seen in the past couple of years, I've seen people push themselves to do new experiences and I'm always proud of my friends when they do that. I've seen friends pick up sports that they've never played before, or they take their first AP class or their first, first Frederick Community College class. And they don't always, you know, do great, but they're, they're pushing themselves to do things that make them a little uncomfortable, and they're growing as a part of that. So I consider that a successful student. Number one would definitely be communicating with your teacher. The, the teachers here are very cooperative, and they will definitely do anything that uh, helps you. They, I've learned that teachers don't really care so much about the classes and the grades as they do care about your personal success and just you learning in general. They don't care if you get an A or B, they just want you to learn. So my advice to them would be communicate with your teacher, and uh, assess your priorities to make sure you're not spending time on things that aren't worth it.